Riddle me this, mother lecker. <laughs> A version of this problem was used as an Amazon interview question. A cable of 80 meters is hanging from the top of two poles that are both 50 meters from the ground. What is the distance between the two poles to one decimal place if the center of the cable is a 20 meters above the ground and b 10 meters above the ground? Now to be more specific a version of problem B was asked during an Amazon interview but I've included problem A because it's interesting mathematically. Can you figure it out and give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for a solution. So let's solve the case of 20 meters above the ground. We have the ground and we have two poles of 50 meters each and we have a hanging cable that's 80 meters long. The center of this cable is 20 meters from the ground and we want to solve for the distance between the two poles. Now I'll admit I had forgotten how to solve this kind of problem so I had to look up some formulas online many of the websites referred to the physics interpretation which involved weights and tensions and I just wanted to get to some of the mathematical formulas so I found a great reference from Neil Chatterjee and Bob Donita, the hanging cable problem for practical applications in the Atlantic Electronic Journal of Mathematics. I recommend you to check it out. So it will solve this problem using symmetry and a convenient coordinate system. First we'll split up the cable into two lengths of 40 next we'll consider only the distance from the center of the cable to one of the poles. We can then double that distance to get the distance between the two poles. We'll also use a convenient coordinate system that's centered at the center of this hanging cable. In other words the Y axis goes at the center of the cable and the X axis also goes so that it's just touching and tangent to the center of the cable. So we want to calculate this distance X from the paper. The general catenary equation that's tangent to the ground or the x-axis takes the following form. y is equal to a cos of the quantity x over a minus. A furthermore the top of the pole in this diagram will be at the coordinate x comma 30 so we can use the point at the top of the pole to get one equation. This simplifies to be a cos of x over a is equal to 30 plus a it will be convenient to divide both sides by a so a the cos of x over a is equal to 30 plus a all over a now we have another equation which is using the length of half of the cable. This equation will be a times the sin of x over a is equal to the length of 40 meters and will again divide both sides by a to get the sin of x over a is equal to 40 over a now we can use the hyperbolic identity that the cos squared of t minus the sin squared of t is equal to 1. So we substitute in the values we've just arrived and we can solve for this value of a as a quadratic equation. We get that a is equal to 35 over 3. We now figure out this unknown parameter and we can then use it in our second equation with sin to solve for the value of x and we end up that x is approximately equal to 22.7 meters, which we will then double to get the distance between the two poles as 45.4 meters amazing. So now how do we solve the next problem? What if the cable is only hanging 10 meters above the ground? Now suppose you try and go through the same exact method. At this point the top of the pole will be at a point x comma 40 so we'll use the same equations and we'll substitute in the new values from this particular case. Now when you substitute it into the hyperbolic identity you get the following equation and if you try to solve it you run into a problem. This equation has no solution. So what is going on? Well we're gonna need to think about this problem logically. The hanging cable is supposed to be 10 meters off the ground which is 40 meters from the top of the pole but half of the cable is already 40 meters. In other words the cable must be folded exactly in half and that means the two pole are coincident. There are 0 meters apart so our diagram is is actually going to look like the following. We don't actually have a hanging cable between two poles. We actually have this cable is going directly down from the two poles because they are exactly at the same spot. No equations required. Many employees can mindlessly calculate the answer but how many will think before they calculate and to be honest I completely missed this problem because I didn't see the trick. Riddle me this, mother lecker. <laughs>